dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. <laughs> uh -huh, Alrighty then. Hey, this is Wentis yet again, and I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. It really does take a while to get used to saying that instead of um, Super Mario Sunshine. So, in this episode, we're going to be making some progress in Clock Town. And starting off, we're going to be doing... Why did I go to this part of town, you may ask? I don't even know. I made a mistake. You see, we're going to be doing the next part of the Deku Playground. Which can only... You see, you have to do... it. There's a different um, setup for each day. And, oh, look! It's Tingle. He's here. Just after we deposited all of our money... Wow, I almost went into that place without getting any money ready. Alright, well, six rupees isn't enough. So, I guess I'm going to... Well, I don't really have to cut it out, because I'm only going to get up to ten rupees. So, let's try this again. Let's see. Um, also, I should mention that these past... was it? From episode five onwards... These have all been up. These all have been recorded on the same day. Well, no, not all of them on the same day. All of these episodes have been recorded the day five through eight, and probably a couple more after that have been recorded on the day before the preview video comes out. So yeah, this is being recorded on the 22nd of June, just a few days before I'm leaving on my trip. Yeah. I'm recording these way ahead this time. I do not want to fall behind. I want to have uploads near constantly. Alright, we're here again. So, let's get into the flower and you'll see that it's a different setup this time. Much more difficult and I probably should have gotten a lot more money. So look, now they're moving platforms. And they're moving in squares around the area. Okay, made on the first one. That's always a good start. Alright, so... You have to time your jumps and your drops really well. <sighs> Look, guess who's going to be cutting out this video now? Alright, see you guys when I grind a ton of rupees. Well, I should have enough rupees for three tries this time. So, let's try this again. And by the way, one thing I do recommend... Waiting for that blue platform to come around so it's the first one you land on. That way you get the maximum number of rupees you can from the start. And by the way, you might notice they're in three layers, two to each layer, all moving in the same square. So that... I don't know if that helps you at all, but it could give you an idea of which ones to go to next. So, waiting for the blue one. Going now. Alright, and drop. Ah, I made it. Alright. So, let's... Jump. And try to make it to this one. There we go. Alright, so let's go for the next one in the center. I find it's easiest to work your way to the center than work your way back out. But that might just be me. Oh shoot! Oh, it's off by a couple seconds. Right after I said this is the easier way to do things. Oh, well. I'm just gonna cut ahead till I succeed at this. I've given you all my advice, so... It'd just be redundant to keep showing this. Alright, I think we made it in time for the record. So, 46 seconds on that. 46 seconds, a new record. Yes, we made it. Alright, and for that, they give you another 50 rupees. So, I did make a profit on that. And, I think we'll go give this money to the Hishi. And, with that, we'll be able to get a larger wallet, which... Believe me, is invaluable in this game. Uh, so? Um, not really much to say. I'm just gonna go deposit those rupees, and I'll talk to you when we get that item. Alright, we deposit our rupees. Like, Alright, little guy, I got you 245. What's this? You've already saved up 200 rupees? Well, little guy, here's your special gift. Take it. So, we got an adult wallet. Now we can carry up to 200. That more than doubled our wallet size. So, we can now do a lot more with that. And, I think one thing I'll start by doing is withdrawing, uh, I'm going to say around 80. I'm not sure exactly how much it is. And by the way, you're going to want to get as many rupees saved up in here as, as you can. If you do anything at all right before the moon falls, it's deposit all of your money. 
You're gonna want to get up to, I believe, 5,000 rupees. I'm not sure, I've never really done it before, but I saw it in a different Let's Play. So, here, you may notice that at the bomb shop, this is where that little old woman lives, and this guy apparently lives with his mother. But feel free to look around, we buy this, and now it's a big bomb bag, 10 rupees short. So, yeah, if you bought it normally, it would only be a regular bomb bag, but if you buy it, um... <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, need an extra 10 rupees. But, yeah, if you didn't rescue the old woman, it would only be a regular bomb bag. So, yeah, definitely a good idea to rescue her instead of just buying the regular one. And in order to get the biggest bomb bag, you do need to get the bigger bomb bag first. So buying the regular one it would be a waste of your time normally. So you definitely want to get the big bomb bag first. No, I don't want to talk to you. Alright, and 90 rupees. And there we go, we got the big bomb bag. And we can now buy bomb chews and bombs. But honestly, um, I do like using bombs normally, but the blast mask does make them kind of superfluous. Usually, at least. There are places where you will need them still, believe me on that. But, let's see, is there anything else to really be done around Clock Town right now? Um... Not that I can really think of that would be useful right now, so let's just head back to Woodfall and use plant that bean and rescue the monkey. And like I said before, rain will make it so that plant will grow, and um, it will basically save you the time of collecting water in order to make the plant grow. Whoa, whoa. Uh, controller kind of just fell there, glad nothing happened with it. Here we are back in Woodfall. Oh, crap. How do I get back for again? Oh, yeah. You know what? Forget it. I'm just cutting ahead. Alright, now, here we are back at the palace. And one thing you may notice is that it does rain here as well. Not all parts of the of Termina will rain on the second day, but this particular one will. Because I think it's because, it, in case people didn't listen to the fact that you have to water that plant, it might make it so that it'll just grow automatically for them. That might be... That's my personal opinion, but I really don't know. But I guess it is also a swamp, so it makes sense that it would rain here, too. So, let's... Oh, wait, we don't even need the spring water. What am I doing? Uh, go get out the Deku Sticks, because those will be useful. Well, not right now, but soon. No, don't just hold it up in the air like an idiot. Plant it. And if you watch, it, normally it we had to water the other one. This one will just grow again instantly. So, yeah. Now we just ride this one up. We're gonna wanna be a Deku for this. Let's see... Deku. And... Here we go. Now this is gonna be a bit more platforming with a Deku, so that Deku uh, playground is good practice for this part of the game. Now... If you can make it through the second level of that, you can probably make it through this easily. Because this is a whole lot easier than the Deku playground. So... I just get moving, jump up, and in fact, I don't think they can actually hit you out of the air. I stand corrected! <laughs> and seriously, while I was flying through here on the way here, I got- I saw several of them pass straight through me, and I knew for a fact that- Well, I was pretty sure I knew for a fact that they couldn't knock you out of the air, but of course, as soon as I start saying the sentence, I get knocked out of the air. Fan frickin' tastic. So, uh, sorry for the brief silence. I'm trying to think. I'm just kind of surprised by that, wondering how it's possible. But my only conclusion I can come to: Let's get play curse. Always loves to prove you wrong. And one thing I do like, the fact that you can see the moon over in front of the storm clouds. That just shows how close it's gotten. It's below the cloud level. I don't know if they did it on purpose like that, but if they did, that's actually kind of a nice touch that most people probably don't think about. And wow, is it already... No, it's 10. Why is it so orange here? It's like it's just sunrise or sunset or something. Huh, <laughs> I'm not sure. 
Alright, now we're halfway there. And let's just uh, shoot this guy. Come on. There we go. I'm sorry if I don't really talk while I'm shooting those guys, but I'm trying to make sure I time it right. And it's... You know how it is. If you're a Let's Player, you definitely understand. It's definitely harder to play while talking. And this guy, I don't think he can even hit you. Because of the fact that you're constantly moving. But, eh. Better take him out just to be safe. So, let's get to this one. And we're almost there. Only one more after this one. In fact, I think this is the last one. Which I And I almost missed it, too. Alright, this one should rise up now. And computer, do not shut down on me. Alright, just jump when it's at its max height. And we're in. I don't know why they set it up like this, so you have a path to the cage. Whoa. Audio lag, and it's making me very nervous yet again. Alright. Yeah, this guy. They keep saying blah, 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 blah. How don't they believe what I say? Fine, I get it. Then I shall say nothing more to you. Punch me, do whatever you might. I think if you talk to him as a human... He's... Oh, you! How do you get, you get here? Shh! If they see you, they'll capture you. What? My brother asked for your help? Ugh, I'm terribly sorry. Just try to cut the, my rope. We'll talk after that. Alright. Let's get him! He's like, hmm, no good after all. Wait, you don't have to have something that can make a lot of noise. An instrument with a sound that carries a long way? Have one, show it to me. Well, I have an ocarina. No, 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 I don't want to become Deku. Well, technically I do want to become Deku, but I just want to show this. That tiny thing will never do. Its sound won't carry far enough. Don't you have something else? Alright, if you become a Deku, I don't know why it is he's able to recognize you as the same person even though no one else can. Oh, you have them! You do! Just like the princess! Deku Pipes! Those will work great! By the way, who are you? <laughs> so yeah, I... Okay, I just got that line. <laughs> he doesn't know who you are, she suddenly is a Deku, not a human being, so... Just anime fall. Uh, well, that's not important now, just listen to me. I was trying to find out about the poison in the swamp, so I went to Woodfall Temple above the waterfall. But the temple had become monster a monster's lair, and the princess was captured by the monster. Since the Deku King thinks I kidnapped the princess, he won't listen to a word I say. Now the princess is in trouble, so I must somehow hurry to the temple and save her. Do you understand my plight? Yes. Uh-huh. Music stopped. So then that means... You will go in my place and save the princess. Yep. Okay, now I'll teach you the melody that opens the temple. The princess taught it to me. We can let them hear us. We can't let them hear us, so sing I'll sing it softly. Hmm. Well, good luck playing softly on a de on Deku pipes. Well, d it's kind of cool that they made it so he plays more quietly here. Instead of his usual loudness. But I'm still pretty sure they're gonna hear that. Especially since he feels the need to keep playing. And now they're all just staring. You learned the Sonoda of Awakening. Forgive me if I pronounce all these musical things like Sonoda, Ballad, or... Well, I know Ballad, at least, but you know what I'm talking about. All these things, I have no idea how to pronounce them. This melody awakens those who have fallen into a deep sleep. Everyone, did you hear that? This melody, which only the Deku royal family knows. It, well, not anymore! Now everyone knows it! It proves a foolish monkey deceived the princess so he could enter the temple. Everyone, let the monkey's punishment commence! And they just tackle us and take us out. You'd better take the shortcut to the Deku people use to get to Woodfall Temple. We must hurry. You don't, don't. I will be punished by the Deku King. Well, we already have a much better shortcut to the Deku Temple since we already went there. Now, this is something kind of funny you can do. I told you not to enter any thing other areas other than the Royal Chamber. It is a very royal, royal occasion that you are allowed to enter, so do as I say. Follow this hall straight to the Royal Chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. 
I'm fine with that because that's what I want to show off right now. If you go back in there, he is already being punished. Oh, hot, hot, stop it, please! They keep saying I can't hurt no matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. And they dip him in boiling water. <laughs> He's got to love the look on his face after that, though. That that's kind of horrifying. These are really the Deku are really a brutal people. So, with that, let's transport to Woodfall Temple, and I'm gonna be ending this episode off here. In the next episode, we're going to be going to Woodfall Temple, and hopefully rescuing the princess. So, I guess I'll see. You. Well, <laughs> this has been Wentis. Hope you enjoyed this video. Comments are always appreciated, and I'll see you guys next time when we enter the Deku Temple.